welcome back to the Three Way Podcast. I am your guest host, DNA Gamer, aka Abby. And I'm joined- wait, wait, wait. I have. To, I don't know if I can keep it like that because usually I fade into the intros, and your stupid ass just did. <laughs> Alright, just whatever, what I do? I'll, I'll cut. Wait, I'll wait, cut. wait, wait, what I do? What Nothing. I do? How do I mess just, up? Just wait, on. how do I mess up? You gotta, just keep going, on, just keep criticism. going! <laughs> as I said before, I'm your guest host, DNA Gamer, also known as Abby, and I'm joined here by our regular host and head of the podcast, Jerks4, aka Elias. What's up? And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in, into... Oh, well, yeah, into gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, Game pew, over. Pew, pew. I don't know. Holster my gun. Well, yeah, Los is out of town, supposedly. Los is out of town, and then... Uh, JP is working. JP is working. Yeah. And then... Um, I, have a sh- I have a fucking headache. <laughs> oh, it's just it's one of those weekends where it's just difficult to, to regroup. But we're well, here. It's a special weekend, too. Yeah, it is a special weekend. Because this is the last episode of the first season. <gasps> Anywho. Wow, <laughs> fake, so. But yeah, t- this episode will be the last for this season. And uh, apparently, Jerks, can you fill us in on the time frame of when the three-way podcast will regroup and come together uh, again? Yeah, we'll be off for one week. And then we'll come back. What? That's it. One week. <laughs> Not I'm going to try to go get some money in Vegas you so I can <laughs> afford better cameras and audio equipment. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> you should do like a GoFundMe. <laughs> I mean, they can go fund me at my twitch.com, twitch.tv forward slash jrx 4 x That's <laughs> right. If you are not subscribed, please like. If you have comment, Amazon Prime, you're able subscribe. to sub for free, free, Yeah, free. pretty much. And then follow Jerks4. Actually, I, uh, later on, I'm supposed to do uh, like a PSA for that. Cause, oh, because there's so many people that have been asking me how to do it. I'm like, look, I'm gonna just record it, show you how to do it, and just do it. Nice, look at you, so sweet, mm. being so helpful. Yeah, give me that. To all these people who are uh, technology. I'm trying to pay it, Abigail. <laughs> all right, gaming. Gaming. All right. <laughs> I already told you, I'm I'm working at this. All right. So, first of all, Evo 2019 <laughs> results <laughs> and the highlights. First of all, I guess the major highlight was, of course, uh, the Dragon Ball fight. <laughs> Dragon Ball it. Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters. Goichi Sonic won. Fox. Hey, I think I have the same chair that he has. Oh. Yeah, it, it does look like that in the video. I think you do. I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, so uh, a touching moment. Obviously, Goichi kind of like broke down. He won, and there was a lot of crying, a lot of tears, and he was just like, ah, I, I made this happen, and couldn't <laughs> believe it. So, <laughs> so <mean. laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, you know, and uh, I would, I, I do admire Sonic Fox, you know, being a good team player, congratulating him. You know, it's not often that you get to see that kind of, I guess, sportsmanship in gaming. People, tensions run high. It's not just Especially a game. Like in COD. Yeah. So um, it was kind of nice and refreshing to see these, you know, two gamers like they they got along really well. The congratulations were uh, how was mm-hmm. that? How was that word sincere? And I think everything played along really well. Oh. Jerks, any thoughts? Uh, yeah. Uh, Sonic Fox has always been like uh, he's kind of like a dominating won, force, like, right? Huh? He's, he's been dominating, right? And yeah, uh, I think ever since last year is really when he started like really like coming up like in more in terms of the mainstream scene mm-hmm. but yeah he's like he's super like entertaining to watch he's really charismatic uh yeah i mean uh, again like a lot of the evil stuff it happens in vegas it happened last week um unfortunately i didn't really get to see a lot of it i've been i was trying to watch some of the highlights <laughs> i couldn't but it, i mean as typical typical like gaming stuff here let me pull it up guys they had here, I have the brackets and the winners here. Yeah, it is a lot to go through. I mean, so. they had, okay, of course they had Smash Bros. But I think they, did they move, did they remove uh, the GameCube version? Uh, I think they did. They did because it looks like this one is the ultimate. ultimate. I yeah. guess the most recent one that came out on the So Switch. yeah, if MK Leo won that, won that one. And then in Tekken 7, it was Farslane Ash. 
<laughs> okay. Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, which I heard is actually pretty good. It's on PS4 and PC. Uh, Bonchan. Bonchan. Takashi. Takahashi. Takahashi. Man, that's actually a pretty cool name. Bonchan one. Uh, <laughs> Blaze Blue. Cross tag. I think it's Blaze Blue or Blaze Blue. Is it Blaze Blue? Because there's no E at the end of Blaze. Maybe. Bla- so it's Blaze Blaze Blue. <laughs> it's probably black. anyway somebody won in that mk11 of course sonic fox won that one uh samurai showdown which actually it's like uh, 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 uh like uh a reboot i guess in some ways uh some infra- infiltration oh, man some of these names bro some of these names <laughs> uh, of course uh sonic fox at second in um uh, in the dragon ball fighters tournament uh goichi go one won that one uh, and there was a bunch of other ones. Soul Calibur Six. I have yet to play actually. But oh yeah, I, who won that one? I like Soul Calibur. You, Soul Calibur Six. You ben, Toto. Benny. You Toto. Yeah, Benny. You Toto. You Toto. You Toto. Blue God. There's a guy named Blue God. Oh wow. I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sounds like he's been watching too much Watchmen. What? Yeah, the blue guy that comes out in Watchmen. I've never seen Watchmen. <gasps> wow. <laughs> so then my joke just went like. Yeah. Right, o- right over your head. Basically. <laughs> but um, real quick, so I think, um, so the games that they focused on this year, apparently, were, of course, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Street Fighter V Arcade Edition Tekken 7, mm-hmm. Samurai Showdown, mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat 11. Who won that one? Uh, Sonic Fox. Really? Yeah, you so were paying was- attention when I said it! No, no, no. My confusion is like you're allowed to access different games. Like you can't just. Oh yeah, I mean oh. you're not you're not bound to just play one game. You okay. Can play as many as you want. Okay, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Under Night in Birth Exe, and it's Dragon Ball Fighters Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. It's not Dragon Ball Fighters. Fighters. Z. Fighters. Fighters. Z. 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 There you go. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> and moving on and just you know. And then uh, going back to a new Pokemon and Sword Shield trailer. Yeah, this one, it seems like they're showing off some of the the region-type Pokemon. And Again, they've had, like, upgrades and new looks to them. G- Galarian forms. Um, <laughs> so that's, like, coughing looks weird. Galarian? Galarian. Coughing looks like uh, Galarian, one of those, easy. like, oh, no, uh, refineries. Easy, coughing looks like a refinery. It's so easy. And then zigzag, zigzagon. Zigzags him. Which actually his his evolved form, like his final form, it, it actually looks, looks pretty cool. He looks like uh, that guy from Kiss, Gene Simmons. <laughs> they were they were comparing him to him. Look, look, look. See, I don't know if the people on YouTube can see, but, <laughs> but yeah, he does. Yeah, look, it's, it's Gene Simmons, bro. Look, let me pause this real quick. Look at that guy. <laughs> look at the tongue. Jesus. <laughs> I agree with that. What are they I doing? agree with that statement. I'm telling you, man, these Pokemon people are lazy as hell. They will for real. But anyways, uh, yeah, like, so basically they just showed off some of the, the region type. Um, this isn't the first time they've done it. I think they've done it with Sun and Moon, and I'm not too sure if they've done it before that, because I did play X and Y. I don't remember seeing that type of thing. Oh, and then there's a Pokemon, too, that goes hangry. Like, he, he, he like, changes whenever he gets hangry. Like the Gremlins? Yeah, I think so. That's kind of corny. I don't know. That's Hangry Mode. Oh, and he's li- his name is literally Hangry Mode. No, his name is something else I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Anyways, these Pokemon, uh, I don't know. It's just Pokemon that, uh, from what you've told me, have been featured in various other games, but they just brought yeah, them back Yeah, I mean, the some region. of them, like that, that Hangry one, I believe, is a new one. The other ones have been there before. Of course, Weezing's been there for, for, before. Zigzag. Zigzong. Zigzag. Zigzong. 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 And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm still not, like, I'm not. If I had a Switch, I wouldn't buy this. Okay. Like, I don't want to support this. Like, I need them to do something new, something different, man. need them to do better. Do better. We can be better, Nintendo. Yeah, do better. Come together, not Pokemon. Pick. It's not. It's Pokemon, not Kaiju. I mean, we gotta honestly. It's just people are gonna buy it. People don't care about the details. People. Well, just, yeah, because I think kids would enjoy it either way. Kids, kids don't care. Yeah. But me, as a grown ass adult trying to play a little kids game, I need you not to be the same thing <laughs> over and over. <laughs> And then uh, shifting gears, Apex is adding a solo queue. 
Oh yeah, really quick, just Apex Legends is actually adding a solo queue. Right now, like whenever you play Apex Legends, it's like 3v3, or three. it's a party of three. But now they're adding to where you can join the game by yourself, so it's like solo, instead of, a par instead of being parties of three. Uh, this I am actually pretty happy and excited about, because I'm sick and tired of playing with randoms that play like crap. And then, like, they end up getting me killed or they don't want to revive me because they're too busy trying to full kill somebody and they're pissing me off because that shit happened to me yesterday on Twitch.tv forward slash JRX4X. And <laughs> it was really just infuriating, dude. Like, literally, I was about to break something because these kids are so bad. These kids? Yeah. But dude. it's fun. It's a fun game, though. It's fun. Right. <laughs> I love it. It's a fun game, but you, you prefer working solo. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather run around like by myself, or, or like not having to depend on somebody else versus having to depend on somebody else. So when life. you're playing solo, will you be playing with other people that are solo, or are you yeah, still yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. playing you're like gonna, three you're against one? You're gonna basically one. be in a lobby with a bunch of other people that are okay. like coming in there by themselves. So it's not gonna be unfair like three against one. No, even then, you know, I'll slap them. It's easy. Confidence, confidence is key. Yeah. Oh, and here's an exciting thing: Gears Five Limited Edition. I'm actually Ooh. interested in that. There's a Gears of, of War 5. Okay, well, Gears of War 5 is coming out, right? Yeah. And then, of course, being a, a, a Microsoft exclusive, uh, I think they've done this before. They, they have done this before. Uh, they, they're going to release another console with this. It's an Xbox One X, uh, Gears of War 5 edition. Now, usually the Gears of War uh, games since 4 have been absolute trash. Actually, from Judgment. I haven't played shit, that shit. Okay. But anyways... They're releasing a limited edition console, and their console version of the of, of this game, they're fucking gorgeous. Like, did you ever see the 360 one, the red one from yeah. Gears of War 3? That yeah. one was fucking amazing. So this one, of course, comes with, the, like, a limited edition c controller, the Xbox One X, like, customized to look like uh, the Gears of War 5 feel to it. Um, and, if of course, I'm pretty money, sure it's going to feature, like, the Gears of War emblem as well, right? Yes, it's going to have the emblem. I have, the, I have it on stream right now. I mean, on the on the screen right now for YouTube side. And, oh, it comes with Gears of War 1 through 4 as well. Oh, shit. So you get 5, Gears of War 5. For the price of 1. And you get Gears of War 1, 2, 3, and 4. So would you invest in that? Again, if I had the money, yes. <laughs> so how much is the starting price for it? Uh, Actually, you know what? I didn't look into that. Let me see right now. Let's see. It says, there's a link right here that says get yours. What are we talking about? Wait. What's the guess? How much? I'm gonna go ahead and go with between three hundred and fifty to four fifty. Oof, close. Five hundred bucks. Oh, okay, not bad. I figured. Which, which is actually how much I paid for my Xbox One X when it came out. Oh Fuck. my gosh! So then it's totally worth it because you get all these games. Yeah. You and get... my favorite Gears of War game has always been the second one, but of course, you know, I was a big fan of the first one. Yeah, you get. The storyline was really good. You get on the that Xbox one. one X Gears of War Five mm -hmm. Limited Edition, one terabyte console. The Xbox wireless controller, uh, limited edition uh, version of the game, uh, Gears of War Ultimate Collection, Gears of War 2, 3, and 4. Uh, okay. I think, I, think, uh, I think all these games, actually, if you have Game Pass, they're already available there. But regardless, I mean... But it's more like a collector's edition. Yeah. I mean, because is this obviously, you know, this is probably, you know, but is this like the final installment of the Gear Saga? Are they going to like close this out? And like just... I said, that final installment for me was Gears 3. GG's in the chat. I had fun with you, but time and to that move was on. It. Time that to move time. on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then um, in other gaming news, so Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo agree to disclose loot box odds. Finally. All right. So this is actually some real news. So as we know, like loot boxes have been a pain in my ass because they make you grind for like the loot in the game. Like they make you work so much harder for something that you don't that you shouldn't have to work harder for because and they, that you don't even know they, if it's worth it because they push you towards just buying it using real money. So this doesn't change that. What this change is is they're finally going to show you the actual probability of you actually winning something because right now, like. You go into the game, you look at the loot box, you want to buy it, you buy it, you don't know what you're going to get, you don't know the probability of what the item specific one you've been looking for, you're going to, uh, like, what's your chances of getting, and the, the weird thing about it is that Vegas does it, uh, the lottery does it, like, but Nintendo doesn't, but Nintendo don't, <laughs> Nintendo, <You> know, <laughs> like, these gaming companies don't do it, like, they don't, they don't put in the probability of you actually winning, like, 
the gold version of whatever or a shiny Pokemon or whatever. You know what I mean? Like they don't give you the information to know like like the money you're pour- you're putting towards this this item you're trying to get in this. It's gonna box actually be worth it. It's gonna actually be worth it. So now they're gonna they're gonna, they're kind of like banding together to do it. Okay. Um, but this is only for the consoles though. The PC versions of any loot box shit, they're they're not doing that. It's mm. just console. I think they're doing more console because that's where most most of the kids are at. All the chilling. The chillings. All the chillings. The chitlins. Yeah. But yeah. So. And that's about that <laughs> for gaming. <laughs> boop, boop. Moving forward with drum roll. Drum Sports. Roll? What? Man, you're so excited for sports. Space orts. It's a home run. Home run. <laughs> Touchdown. Uh huh. Keep going. No, no, no. You, you, you're almost there. Nah, that's it. Oh, fuck. No. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I gotta fucking. Oh my god. Are you done? Going forward, Zeke won't play for Dallas without a deal. <laughs> so yeah, pay him. Next. And yeah, Dallas Cowboys, pay up. Pay up next. Pay up. Next. Don't be another Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> FIBA oh World God. Cup. We're absolutely terrible when it comes to sports, man. We don't yeah, watch we sports. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> See, it's like Paolo needs to stop working, come and do his job, his real job. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, I'm nothing Paolo. for nothing, right? Who, who does overtime anymore? I don't know, man. <laughs> I think like he has kids to support. <laughs> he does, two of them. Oh. Their names are Bebop and Nova. Ew. They're super cute, though. No, I'm good. No? Mm-mm. What? You don't like corgis? Hell no. They're cute. Corgis are annoying. They're cute. Like, you just got to make them, like, super fat, where they, like, kind of, like, rasp when they talk. I mean, when they bark, they're like, <laughs> and it's super cute, dude. I love that. So you're trying to give them diabetes? Diabetes. Yeah. I've already told Pablo he needs to get him fat, but he gets mad every time I tell him. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You're going to get us banned from YouTube. You see what happened to that one person? No, I'm not talking about, like, dog abuse. I'm just saying, like, corgis are so absolutely adorable when no, they're but fat. There was, there was like, some, you can't even see their, like, paws. They're, like, there was some dumbass that Yeah, she, I heard. Oh, that could have been pop culture. She, there you go. Uh, oh, fuck it. We're in pop now. <laughs> <laughs> pop. Culture. <laughs> Rewind. Recap. <laughs> Man, we're leading into season two so good. No, but um, yeah, there was this YouTuber mm-hmm. um, who apparently thought it would be funny to film like something about like tricking her dog. She has a Doberman Pinscher. Mm. Uh, tricking her dog with that um, uh, rap. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she was trying to, she was recording all of this and she was putting up the saran wrap, whatever you want to call it, and her dog like kept on jumping on her so there were several times apparently in the video where she would spit and kick at her dog yeah and apparently it was it was like for real did you watch it um yeah actually i have it right here according to tmz (laughs) yeah (laughs) youtuber brooke holtz abuses her dog on camera lapd launches investigation yeah after after the like the the video of her doing this on twitter came out well it came out on twitter uh, a lot of people were sending information to the cops and the LAPD to go investigate this. So apparently they did. Uh, I don't know. We have we have results of that yet. But she basically what happened is that she she uploaded this video where she was like playing pranks with her dog, and like. But the thing is that she accidentally uploaded the video that was the unedited version, and then in the unedited version she puts like she puts the same ram rap on the on the thing, and she's like hitting the dog whenever he's trying to be playful. She, like, spits on the dog. I mean, really, she's a she's a piece of shit for this, to be honest. And her excuse was, um, if I'm not mistaken, she was having a bad day. Yeah, her excuse is bullshit. Yeah, like, no. Like, you're having a bad day, so you decided to uh, abuse your dog? Like, go fuck yourself. Dude. Seriously, seriously. You know, I'm not, like, an animal activist or anything, and I don't own any pets, quite frankly, because I like my house clean and without any fur. And uh, at this point, I feel like I'm allergic to dogs. But um, if you get an animal, it's to take care of them and to love them and care for them. You know, they become pretty much like kids. And yeah. And it's not an excuse. No, it's not. It, so if, if, you're, if you're having a bad day and, you know, 
don't don't hit your dog. And then like she tried to excuse it too, saying that oh it's a big dog. Basically, she was like he can take it and this this and that. I'm that like, just makes it even more worse. Like, like it's just here. like go away, dude. Seriously, go away. Um, I hope she gets penalized. I hope something happens and. I sincerely, you know, she doesn't need a following. Not like that. Because that just no, shows honestly, what after, a... after this, I'm sure she's done. That that just goes to show you what a what her true colors are. She's she's horrible. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing about some of this, like, uh, like, uh, like online personality thing. Because I agree. Sometimes, sometimes that's what it is. It's just like a, like a persona and not really who they are. And, like, it just, it's, it's terrible whenever, like, like, People like that actually end up like getting big, but it's great whenever they fuck up and they, they get exposed. Cause it is, but at the same time, at like the expense of you know innocent people like her dog. Yeah. Oh, I felt Aww. I felt really bad. Her dog was really cute too. Yeah, I think like uh, another YouTuber, his name was Ethan Klein. He, from he H3 yeah H3. he has to, uh, uh, to he was adopt he him. was offering to buy the dog off of her like for yeah. whatever amount of money she and did wanted. you hear about that owner that had left his little dog in the um in the car for like 104 degree weather what the fuck no. yes was and that here it was i don't know if it was here or not but um they were able to break into the car but the the dog was convulsing oh shit they dude. had to what like take him and you know apparently by 100 by 103 104 like that can cause like brain damage in your dog like, mm-hmm. come on, people, like, seriously, if you want pets, I'm not saying you can't have them, but seriously, take care of them. It's a responsibility. It's not just for shits and giggles. Take care of your animals. Point, period. And that, end scene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, be good at your pets. And uh, you know what I was watching, too, today? Um, fucking Twitter, man, I swear. So there I was in the Twitter world, you know, scrolling the up and down. And then, like, the next thing I know, there's just this video of just this rabbit eating a watermelon. And it's just it's just a rabbit eating a watermelon. I just got hypnotized, and I literally clicked on the video. And then they're like, here's the full video on YouTube. I went to the full video. It's like about 15, 20 minutes. And there I was just watching a, a rabbit <laughs> eating a watermelon. It was incredible. And it was like mind blowing. It really it was. It changed your life. It was like, <laughs> like it was really cute. It was it was adorable. <laughs> okay, well I don't I don't necessarily <laughs> you know let's It go makes me want to get a rabbit, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I've always you know I've always I don't know. I don't think I'm 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 made for pets. So I think, you know, you gotta know your limit. Oh, uh, speaking of pets, you know do you remember those Tamagotchi stuff? Yeah. They're That's going to be like in the a... new Call of Duty. <laughs> just FYI. How does that fit into with Call of Duty? Like, how do, I don't know. I just remember. How do, those, how do those, like, how does that fit? So Venom 2 is going to be directed for sure. Wait, are we, are we, what? We're in, we're in pop. We've been in pop. Really? Yes. Remember? So then how does Tamagotchi and Call of Duty fit into pop? So, okay. So, uh, what's his name? From Venom? Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is coming back. I hope the other girl doesn't come back, but I, I think she is. Too. She is. <sighs> Michelle she so uh, Michelle Williams. Yeah, she was mistaken. so bland, bro. She's boring as fuck to watch in that movie. I think the dialogue needed to be fixed in that movie, and I think the chemistry the, was they just don't have not any. there. They don't have any the, chemistry. The chemistry was severely lacking. He had more chemistry with the scientist yeah. than he did with his own broad, whatever her name is. <laughs> and I think that had to do a lot with why in some in some ways like this film wasn't like very warmly received because it was lacking in something. I mean, um, they made like eighty million dollars. Yeah, but I mean, didn't did make as right. much as a Marvel movie would have made. No, no, no. And I think that's the problem too. They need to bring in a creative, you know, director. Uh, well, this is Sony, isn't it? Sony? Yes, Sony. Yeah. Or I mean, you know, they need to kind of like give up certain rights and have Marvel do an actual Venom movie. Well. Because we don't want Venoms all over the place, you know? I don't want three or four different Venoms, just like there's been three or four different Spider-Mans. And up to this point, there's like five uh, or you, six you're Batmans. You're talking about like the, the different like, uh, reboots? Yeah, the different oh, reboots, because yeah. that's, that's 
you know, that's obviously what's going to end up happening. Yeah, I'd rather them do that and get it right until until well, they get it right. I mean, I would say, you know, go ahead and do a reboot, but still include the original actor. But until then, we do have Venom 2, and it will be directed by Andy Serkis. I like Andy Serkis. Who, of course, is Gollum in The Lord of the Rings. And not only that, he's Caesar in Planet of the Apes. And he's Caesar in Planet of the Apes. And he also came out as the, um, God, what's his name, in uh, Black Panther. Black pa- oh, the, he was that villain. The but black he, market. Yeah, but he died really quick. But he was still pretty funny in that one. Yeah. And he got really buff. Like, he was huge. Damn. I don't It's because, you know, I'm so used to, like, whenever you watch, like, behind the scenes, I'm so used to him being like this and, like, oh, well, yeah. He was also oh, yeah. Snoke in the new Star Wars movies. Um, what was he? What else did he do? He, I I've, I've sincerely feel he's an incredible actor. And I feel like with him behind the helm... And based on him, you know, being able to participate in all these different genres of movies. I mean, he did fantasy. He did action. <clears throat> I like, mean, he, he has directed a movie before. He did a... Uh, this will be his third film. Uh, he did direct the 2017 film called Breathe. I'm reading this off of... Uh, what is what website? This is Polygon. Um, he did Breathe. And then he did in 2018, he did a movie called Jungle Book. Uh is actually called Jungle Book, uh, an adaptation of Jungle Book of Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle. Um, I saw it. How, what'd you think? Um, I mean, because there was two versions, right? There was one like he yeah, did. Yeah, a, he, he did the more dark, grittier looking one, right? Yes, he did. And then there was another one that was like pretty much a Disney one, right? Yeah. And honestly, like it wasn't it wasn't that bad at all. No, okay. like it was really good. It was okay. uh, it was really good, and the only reason I even got like down to like even watching it was because Ruby asked to see it. Okay. And I was like, oh, fine, we'll watch it, <laughs> and um, it actually turned out to be pretty good. Oh, I liked it. Okay. It was uh. I gotta check it out then. I think it's on Netflix, isn't it? Yes, it is on Netflix. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. I think it's a uh, it's good. Um. Do I, I? He he does have humor to him. Mm-hmm. And he does have, like, witty comments. But, of course, obviously that, you know, he was in a movie that it was written by different people. You know, he was just saying his lines and everything. But um, I do believe he's good with improv as well. Okay. So I'm thinking this might be a good direction for the new Venom movie to to come out in. Oh, that's interesting. And I feel like um, it might uh, help increase, like, the humor. Like, because there were some times when the movie would try to be funny and it would be like, oh, you know, ha ha. And then it'd be like, okay, and there were some jokes that fell flat, Mm -hmm. but do I agree with them bringing back Michelle Williams? I don't think so. No, I don't. I think, I think think they need to make a new heroine or whatever you want to call it. She's even talking about like, she wants to be more involved in terms of being like, yeah, she wants to be more involved. She wants to like more fighting scenes or something like she she wants wants to to be venom, like the lady venom, (laughs) but who you be girl, who you be. So did you know there's a, Disney Plus service coming out soon. I'm just gonna go ahead and have to like crack down and just subscribe to it, like just take oh another God. bill on, you know. Disney Plus is gonna be bundled. Well, Disney's bundling their because I'm, I'm because just... they own this stuff. Yeah, they For really them, do. It doesn't matter. Okay, so Disney's bundling Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus for twenty ninety nine per month. Oh, I do have Hulu. I have Hulu too, but it's free. I have no. I pay for the one without commercials because I'm not watching stuff with commercials. I'm not about that life. I don't like forwarding through stuff. I don't like sitting there 30 seconds waiting for this ad to be over. I want to watch my show. I want to know what happens in The Handmaid's Tale. I don't know. You know, like I gotta know this stuff. You know, I'm watching My Hero Academia. It's right in the middle of a fight, and then you want to bust in with freaking advertisement. Screw that. <laughs> nah. So um, I do pay. I pay the eleven eleven ninety nine. Here's mm-hmm. the only thing I hate about Hulu. Apparently, you have to. You can't just. Um, how, what's that word when you want to get off something? Oh my god, I can't think today. You can't just like uh, cut your subscription off. Okay. What you have to do is pretty much stop payment for them to for them to even stop your service. What I don't understand. Yeah. So like for example, you have Hulu, right? Yeah. If you want to like cancel. Mm-hmm. Your service, you can't. You have to just stop payment. Mm, no, you can cancel it. And then if you want to upgrade, mm-hmm. you have to stop payment to in, in order to even upgrade to the higher one. Because, you know, they have some movies and stuff where it's like 
um, they call it live TV or something like that. You're yeah, not. Yeah, they they have like different variations of their Hulu service. So it's like the basic one. There's actually like a free one you don't need to pay for, but it's really limited on what you can actually see. Yeah, that's true. And too. then there's a Hulu with the ads in it, and then there's Hulu with no ads, and then there's Hulu with live TV. Yeah. Um, so the the live mm-hmm. TV you can't just upgrade your package, like you have to like stop payment on that one and then re like re-register and then pick that you want live tv that doesn't sound right i'm telling you because i wanted to watch what we do in the shadows um that new show that came out on fx and it's only available on live tv so i'm like okay let me just upgrade while i watch it Mm -hmm. can't do it i don't know yeah it's it's really stupid that's my only like issue that pisses me off with so anyways we have a bundle yeah, we have a bundle, Can we and I'm gonna, probably going to get it because I'm getting tired of like Disney watching. Plus. I'm getting Hulu tired Plus. of watching like Marvel movies no, I mean, and Hulu not being Plus. able to watch their sequels. Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, and Hulu. Of course, all companies all under the ES, uh, the ESPN, the Disney umbrella. Um, so at this price, this is competing directly with Netflix. Oh, I agree. No, at this price, what I'm saying is that you get not only one service, but you get three. Netflix mm-hmm. charges you for the one service, and you, and that's all you get. You get limitations, too, because Netflix sometimes doesn't carry all the you know Marvel movies. And the way that things are going right now, it looks like everybody's going to start doing their own subscription services. Uh, a lot of the TV shows are probably going to be leaving Netflix soon, uh, unless like they want to shell out like a, millions of dollars uh, versus like just letting them go to another company their original companies um i see this as a like, like a good and bad thing um because look we already have apple tv plus coming we have hbo max coming i could never really get into apple tv i mean Maybe apple tv apple tv is not too. really what it sounds like yeah, apple tv is pretty like... lame but apple tv plus is where it's supposed to be like they're like i want to say it's more in- inclined to be more like a hulu um because it's not to the point of Netflix just yet. But uh, I don't know. I don't. I think this is a good move for them, obviously. Because yeah. even, even alone, like the service alone is like, what, six bucks a month? So, like, if you just pay a little bit more, not only do you get the three services, but again, you're, you're paying what you pay for Netflix alone for three different services. That's true because I think ours went up too. I think it's like at fifteen yeah, right now for Netflix. Netflix has been bumping up their prices little by little, which it, they can get away with because they have such great shows on there. So I don't people, have Netflix anymore. you don't have Netflix anymore. Mm-hmm. I I still do. No, um, they, they're actually losing subscribers. Uh, there was like uh, I think like a month ago or something like that. They mm-hmm. had like a, a earnings call where where they are, they're showing graphs of how like they their projections for subscribers were like hella down like super down well they start so, like i guess getting rid of like all these good shows like no, no, the no, no, defenders no. See, and happened, stuff no we talked about this before and i told jp and i told Luz, netflix keeps adding all these these netflix shows netflix movies all these like uh so i guess it's like, in preparation of their own yeah but dude like where do you think that money is coming from to pay for all this shit it's coming from us and like they want to keep shelling out a bunch of all this crap that I mean, probably like, I don't know. I don't watch all the Netflix exclusives. I don't watch Stranger all the Netflix Things movies. is good, and I will say I did like. I mean, the there's Umbrella exceptions Academy. here and there, yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, like, I don't need to be watching like romantic comedies. Like, I don't know whatever they have on there. What's that one? Uh, uh. The most recent one. Something always be my maybe. Always be my maybe. That one was good. <sighs> that one was good. You have to. You know, no. <laughs> No, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like they, they, we're paying for all that. We we pay for <laughs> Keanu to be there, like millions of dollars. <laughs> like no. That movie was good. I don't know what well, you're talking you, about. It was then, like ten times better keep, than Crazy Rich Asians. And then you keep paying that sixteen dollars, seventeen dollars. That's oh, sixteen dollars. You know, but you know what? There's hey, Wee Bear Bears. What? There's Wee Bear Bears. Twenty five dollars. You want another exclusive movie? That would be another twenty six dollars. Uh, Boss Baby on there, so that keeps me occupied with Arwen. I don't have kids, bro. Yeah, but I, I do. I watch him and it comes baby. in handy. Now put YouTube on. They don't care if it's subscription based or not. YouTube? What you mean? <laughs> Last like, time Ruby and Ryan were watching like stuff that wasn't necessarily. What well, you put YouTube Kids on? <laughs> yeah. So it, needless to say, they were running around the house singing, uh, "The internet is for porn." <sighs> yeah, I don't know how that happened. Wow. I don't yeah. know. Be a better parent. 
That's, that's true, man. <laughs> that's true. It's just straight be a up. Parent. So, yeah. Stop, so no. stop letting your kids be raised by the screens. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Not, not only that, man. There's, everything now is like all technology. Yeah. You're not doing stuff that much. So, that's it. That's it for the show. I'm tired. I have a headache. Unless there's something else you want to keep talking about. You tired? <laughs> I'm so exhausted. I'm, I have a headache. <laughs> and I still have a bunch of stuff to do. <laughs> the worst show ever, I know. Oh, guys, it was my birthday yesterday. And Happy cares. birthday to me. Nobody cares, I turned bro. the big 29. Actually, nobody cares. Wait, I thought your birthday was on the 8th. Yeah. Yesterday oh, was shit. the 9th. Oh, shit. God, you're so That's stupid. That's how old I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was my birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Abigail. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nobody oh, cares. you're more than welcome to come over, by the way. I know you just food. you just barely invited me. Don't and worry about it. Like it's a, okay. I understand. Like I'm, I don't. I'm not. You know, wanted there. No, it's because you're getting so skinny, Elias. Like who's feeding you? Skinny. Who who's taking care of you, Elias? Didn't I just tell you I'm trying to go eat? You're like, oh, I gotta hurry up and do this. Like, right, <laughs> but seriously, you should come over. No, no. We'll There's see. food. There will be food. There and will be <laughs> my family will be in attendance. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> anyways all right so all right guys so this is gonna be like the last episode for the first season sorry it was um, a little bit scatterbrained but it's you know kind of like the last episode yeah it's like we're at the end of the line it's just like, like fuck we, just we see just, the finish line just, we're just drag like... my dumb ass over it just, come on, but we promise you we'll be back with you know m- new and improved content yeah we'll see about that <laughs> Yeah. Um, the so, devil works hard, but jerks four works harder. Oh so okay. <laughs> so this is the last episode for the first season, right? Uh, uh, next week we won't have an, a show. I'll just have like a quick little thing where it says like, "Hey, we're not here, but we'll be back." And um, just just before we do go, thank you, thank you for all the support so far. You guys have been giving us. Thank you for you guys like actually watching and listening. Uh, on podcasts, like on the podcast services, like on, on Apple, on Spotify, on, on podcasts. <laughs> yeah, all the platforms, you know. Um, thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you to to JP, to Lowe's, to M, to this girl over here. Apparently she had a birthday. Nobody cares. Um, <laughs> no, thank you guys. Thank you so much for the support, for like helping out on this podcast. Thank you to everybody who stopped by this year, who like help host uh thank you to leo thank you to our intern leo too there's two leos there's canadian leo and intern leo uh intern leo was fired of course but thank you so much for trying he was fired yeah we had a fire <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you to canadian leo for stopping what? by where was i when this happened like, this like in the beginning like last year wtf what happened uh just you know uh, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thank you to Canadian Leo. He actually helped out uh, editing and directing an episode of the Hump Day Show, which was I think last week's the ones where the one where JP went to Austin. Uh, and got food so, poisoning. Yeah, where he got food poisoning. Uh, so thank you to him. Thank you to everybody who helped out during the time that we needed people to come in. Uh, M, uh, I asked her to be on this episode, but she couldn't make it because I mean we had we had a, I, I'm trying to get everybody here, but we couldn't get everybody here. Uh, M is not a longer like an official host anymore. She'll be more like just guest now. Um, you know, I talked to her about it. I wanted her here, but of course she's more than welcome to come back in at any time she wants. Um, uh, just to be clear, your ass is not official yet. I'm looking at you. You are. I can't see you. I'm looking at you in the camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we'll be back for another season. Just one week off. I'm going to be in Vegas. Um, Take it big buck. There's going to be a lot. Of, I mean, there's a lot of content. You guys could go watch like, all the videos You should do like a, back, a bloopers reel. You should do like a bloopers reel stuff. Like, full of, like, I did one already. That shit, that shit took me like two weeks to put together. I was really? so tired. It was yeah. so funny, though. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do another one. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, again, just thank you. Appreciate it. Um, hopefully, we'll get better. It'll be better. Uh, it's like I told these guys the more effort and time they put into this, the better this will be. So, I've been putting a lot of effort and time into this, and I'm hoping everybody else that's here would do the same. What are they get, <laughs> though? They <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know. Anything you want to add? Uh, well, actually, a special thank you to you, man. Why? Because of you that all this is made possible. 
Oh my Working God. long hours and it's stuff, like PBS, putting stuff you know? together. I can't do anything without support, supporters like you. Yeah, you can't do anything <laughs> without us. But at the same time, if we wouldn't have you, we wouldn't be able to broadcast. Oh my God. So, special thanks to Jerks4, aka Elias. Follow him on Twitch. Not only does he edit and spend long hours putting the show together, but he also does his own streaming on Twitch, doing giveaways. Just. Oh yeah, funny. yesterday we gave away two Funko Pops. Uh, a mystery game and a twenty dollar gift card. Well, uh, see, so well, you know, like it's dedication, and you've shown that <clears throat> hardcore. You're the leader. Oh my god! Yeah, so a special thank you to Jerks for keeping god, all this running up. smoothly. Can you stop. Why are you blushing? I'm not. You're totally blushing. I can see it. But yes, yeah, so, and a special thanks to you guys. Thank you for uh, keeping track with the show and watching everything and. You know, again, if you have any suggestions, thoughts, leave it all in the comments. You know, please subscribe. Uh, we're going to take a week <laughs> off. To you sound like you're about to cry. Please subscribe. You know. We're uh, taking a week off to yeah, recoup, and off. we'll be back. Come on, man. Better energy! And stronger than ever. There you go. I got energy. Got man, energy. I've been watching My Hero again. Man, it's such a good fucking show. Oh, yeah, me too. I've been such watching it again with, with uh, Ruby. I just got together. through the part where uh, uh, Deku was fighting uh, Stain. Oh, such a good one. That I want to say Stain's like probably my favorite villain. I hope they bring him back because he's not dead. I thought he died for a moment and then I forgot in the next episode. He got like, knocked nah. unconscious. Yeah, he got knocked unconscious. One of that. his ribs like punctured his lungs. Yeah. I like you would have thought that would have killed somebody. Yeah, I would have thought so too, but you know, they're superheroes. It's like Deku. How how long can you stand like breaking all your arms and legs and shit? Well, he has someone would have died by then. And it's like just weird because like it's kind of funny like when he's falling, his arms roll like that. (laughs) (laughs) It's hard, but yeah, great show. Recommend y'all watch it. It's good. Anime available on Hulu. And season one. And season one. And scene. Ah!